about two or three times as much. Proforce, Nigeria's number one weapons and hardware manufacturing company, was incorporated in 2008 with a vision to be the leading armoring and defense products provider in the world. At that time, it was a dream that seemed impossible to realize, but today the story is different. We've been here for 16 years, um, started in 2008, uh, but we actually started as just armoring of cars, like private vehicles. Profiles as people know it today, I mean, they, technically there's no real start date to it. It kind of just evolved to be the conglomerate that it is today. It started off of, okay, we'll just armor private civilian vehicles, you know, we can just go from there and, you know, uh, cater to the higher uh, end, higher sector, getting some jobs here and there. And then just the vision of our group manager director just saw the trends in regards to where the world is going, where the nation is going, the security situation. And we looked at it and we're like, look, we have the expertise to not just cater to the elites, but also cater to the masses in regards to providing security equipment for state governments who provide security, local governments who also and it trickles down and therefore everyone is safer. It is 2008 that we started officially, but how we've got here, it's grace of God and it's a vision of our great manager. What happened was that um, we were doing cleaning in Kuwait. We moved to Kuwait. We had a huge company in Kuwait. And uh, somebody walked into my office and said, oh, we have an armored manufacturing plant and they want us to be their representatives. And I said, Okay, we went there, looked at the place. By this next time I went there, they had folded up. So automatically, all I just did, I brought all their workers to Nigeria and we started. And but before we started, I mean, it took almost two years because these were all illiterate Colombians. All they knew were the equipment. So we just tried to put the equipments together and um, we started. That's it. Proforce now produces and supplies military weaponry and hardware to about 10 African countries such as Niger, Chad, Burkina Faso, Ghana, and more. Uh, like I said, it, it started in Nigeria. I mean, Nigeria is our home. Nigeria is where we cater to the most. And then it kind of just, products were seen, global image. And right now we cater to about 10 African countries. In Nigeria, Proforce has partnerships with different state governments as well as the Nigerian military and the police on manufacture and supply of hardware. Once this is done, it will be delivered and then we're ready to go. So how long is this going to take that So these, uh, usually with just a singular one, we can finish it in a week. A single one, one week, in, out. But because we have a couple of them that's going on. Oh yeah. Oh no, we're very fast. That's one of our selling points. We are very fast compared to anywhere else. If you were to order this car abroad, they, they will give you like six months delivery day. This is one week for us. Exactly. Such partnerships include supply of armored cars, weapons, and other security intelligence systems. All of these cars being done here at Propos, and when they're all completed, they'll be all deployed. I mean, what, what more can you ask for? He sent down people here. They've come to take a look. Wow, I can see the production. We're happy. But imagine you order a vehicle and it takes you two years before they even bring it. When it gets here, they have issues. They'll be saying that, oh no, it's not an issue. But look at it now. He bleeds in Nigeria. The state-of-the-art Amarin facility of Profos is located in Oderemo in Ogun State, southwest Nigeria. The factory sits on a 40,000 square meter land. Another major facility of Proforce is the Port Harcourt factory in River State, 
which sits on a 25,000 square meter land. Proforce specializes in five major security services, which are armored vehicle, weapons and hardware manufacturing, artificial intelligence, air surveillance systems, security training and intelligence systems services. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so we cater for pretty much everyone and anyone. Um, Chadanian government came over here and how they can also adapt to be part of the future of what's going on in the defense industry. So when they come here, they have a learning course. I mean, sometimes they are even tested to make sure, you know, some small, small tests, just to make sure that, you know, they grasp everything. And to the, shall I say, to the glory of God, I mean, every single year now we have War College, we have Ordinance, we have Naomi. The manufacturing section of the company is the shining beacon of Proforce. The unit manufactures mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles, MRAP, armored personnel carriers, infantry combat vehicles, tactical armored vehicles, military trucks, armored tanks, armored spot utility vehicles, SUVs, and sedan. We had already started going through the concept of building items like this, as well as our clients also requested that, can we do these type of vehicles as well? So it was kind of like a synergy kind of just happened where what we're researching in and what we're finding out from the market just works together. Now, what really changed was when we decided that let's build it in Nigeria. That's when the, like, the Eureka moment kind of happened where instead of like importing a vehicle and just supplying it, because we could have easily done that. I mean, many people in Nigeria do that today. We said, let us help everybody. We help the nation, we help the clients, we help ourselves, we help everybody together and we can all move forward together, pushing Nigeria into that next sector. So, this is this particular spec of Viper. Meanwhile, we have the Ara. I don't know, you know, the mine resistant vehicle, which is the Ara. This is what we- I saw that. Exactly. This is what we've exported to uh, Chad. The Nigerian army are currently using it as well. That is a completely different way that we build it. So it just shows you the type of engineering that goes on in Proforce. So, so what you're trying to say is each client has a specific demand. Exactly. So you build according to what they want. Exactly. And the reason being is that each client has a different threat. Not everybody is the same. You can't just build one vehicle and give it to 10 different clients. It doesn't work like that. For instance, our Ara, this chassis that you see before you hear, it doesn't have any. Every single thing on the, on the vehicle is called a monocoque body. And what monocoque means is that it has no chassis. And that's the reason why it's done that way is because it's a specific threat. It's more tailored towards mind protection than aesthetics. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very intricate, so, so you know. So the, yeah. the more security uh, equipment needed in the vehicle uh, by a client determines the complexity exactly. involved in manufacturing. Exactly. So it's not just a one size fits all. It takes a lot of I mean, for one of our vehicles, this Viper took us a year and a half to design. To design, yeah. Because you have to go through every stage of things in regards to the design, the drivetrain, making sure that it will drive well, making sure that the weight is balanced well, making sure that the engine can carry the weight, all those different things goes into it. Of, of course, that also implies that the cost is different. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. all of our costs are different. Um, as you can say, the higher protection, the more complex, it will be more expensive. Meanwhile, some of the lower down protection, less intricate, much cheaper. The company also manufactures architectural armoring such as security protection for banks, embassies, government buildings, and more. Rather than putting the... Uh, it's also easy to clean if you wanted to clean Exactly, it. you can clean off, or if something's damaged, replace it, yes. put it back, yeah. rather than having to fix the whole thing entirely. In November 2023, President Bola Tinubu signed the Defense Industry Cooperation of Nigeria Bill into law. The bill empowers the corporation to operate, maintain, and control subsidiaries of ordnance factories to manufacture, store, and dispose ordnance and materials.
With this bill, the partnership of ProForce with security agencies like the military and the police will boost supply of major security hardware, land and air intelligence systems, weapons and personnel training. We will continue to pursue your development and make sure that we also improve in our skill production because it's your major raw materials. And uh, we will do that to make sure that uh, we produce uh, high quality defense equipment for Nigeria, Africa, and the world. By the new defense bill, it's obvious. They signed the defense bill. This is something that was almost impossible by the past government. So by signing that bill, what it means is that it encourages local manufacturing. And that says it all. We've noticed that with this current administration, the patronage has actually increased from the previous administration. I'm not saying that the previous administration did not do, do enough, but we just noticed a greater increase. We noticed with the security situation in the country that this current administration is really trying to tackle it. So we can see that patronage. Some of the armored vehicles manufactured by Profos for the military and other security agencies include the PFR MRAP. It is a 17-ton mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicle designed to provide ultimate protection for high-degree threats. Others include the PF Viper, PF2 Armored Personnel Carrier, the PF Wizard, and the PF Hawk. While the PF series are built to withstand bombardment, the PF Hawk is built to transport personnel or stores, as well as towing trailed systems. The PF R2 monocoque is a driveline tank designed to perform in rugged terrains and resist mines and improvise explosive devices, IEDs. Aside from the differences that this is a monocoque body, so that chassis that you saw before, you won't actually see it at all. This one, everything is connected to the body and it's actually designed that even if a blast was to happen and things were to fall off, everybody inside is completely down. secure. Exactly. But this is what we call the Viper monocoque. So this is actually the chassis where uh, it's actually mounted onto the jig. This jig was produced here in Proforce. And then we now start mounting on all the other components onto it. The engine comes on, the transmission, the drivetrain, the uh, propeller shaft, the brake system, the brake kit, all these things start to come on. And then from there, you now get to here. So once you're finished on there, you now offload it from the jig, put it onto here, onto the floor. This is where you have your tires already on, your, your radiator is mounted up, everything is ready. Uh, your fuel, so I say your fuel tank is there as well. And then this is the, so I say the, the granddaddy, the bad boy. <laughs> yeah, the engine. This is what makes everything work. So obviously the transmission, the engine, everything is here. So from here, we're now going to mount it into this. As you can see, stages. I currently work on this engine to put it onto uh, this chassis as such. Once you're done with that, all you need to do is finish off with the electricals. And that's how you get to this stage here. For instance, I will show you the vehicle that we're working on here right now. This is for one of our clients right now. And I'm sure you, you will look at it and you'll be like, whoa, this thing's big and it's... But to us, it's a fairly simple design. Exactly. The way you're looking at it, you're, you're like, you're like, whoa, this is no, 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 no. This to us is a simple design. High protection, but simple, de simple design. Because the way we've built it, it gives our client exactly what they need, but without going into too intricate details of other aspects as such. This vehicle as well, pricing wise is I mean, in the defense world, it's not expensive, but to the everyday layman, I mean, but at the end of the day, what price can you put on life? If you're protecting your, your personnel, you're protecting your end user, that's all that matters. So you can't really put a price on it, really. So for this, I mean, this is what we call, this is actually the Viper as well. But this is the larger version of the Viper. The one that you saw there is a smaller version of the Viper. This is a larger version. Obviously, it's bigger than the other one. But it's the same. If you notice, the front the design of the front is exactly the same. They're both the Viper. But to us, it's a different spec of Viper. So I think next we will go to R&D from here. Proforce Air Systems, nicknamed PF Eagle 3, is the air surveillance unit of the company. Now we are getting to Proforce Air Systems. 
So this is another division underneath the Proforce group. And what we actually do here is actually catering towards aerial systems in the nation. So what we notice is, is that in terms of land systems, we pretty much crack the code. We know what to do, we know how to develop it. But in terms of air systems now, we're now looking at the next frontier. The unit is in charge of designing the manufacturing air surveillance drones, as well as combat drones, built to take out specific targets. This is surveillance drones, this is radar systems. This is making sure that the back end of your military is also secure. So what we do here, we design, we build, and then we actually test our drones as well. Exactly the same concept that we have in regards to the land systems, we brought it to air systems. So what you see before you, these are some of the drones. Some of these are actually, um, shall I say, test pieces. Fiberglass is completely different as well, more sturdy. And then if you really want to spend the money, you can go up to the carbon fiber level, which uh, <laughs> it gets very pricey once you start to get up there. But like I said, these are some of the different surveillance drones that we have here at Proforce. And, uh, some of them we've actually delivered to some clients, some of these different drones. Whilst we also have some clients that are currently placing orders in regards to these drones. And what you can actually see here is what they call loitering ammunition. But this is a prototype. Loitering. Loitering ammunition. ammunition. So it's a, a, another word for, shall I say, kamikaze drone. Okay. So these drones are designed and uh, built to lock onto a target and to execute on that target as well. They did not come back. So this is the different forms of drones that we actually have here at Proforce. This, like I said, is just the prototype as such because they're still trying to perfect it. Uh, being able to get the targeting system perfect is one of the hardest things in regards to aerial systems as well. Um, but in regards to everything else, we pretty much cracked the code for um, other drones. But like I said, this is the next frontier as well. What's the patronage for this unit? So, our air system is rather new in regards to the drone sector. But what we've realized is that with the incoming governors and the new administration, the patronage has actually increased, which is what we're very happy about. Um, we believe that we can actually go much further and we need to have a lot more encouragement, a lot more in regards to patronage. But shall I say, right now, things are looking up. It's a new division, you don't expect it to fly off the shelf. The Proforce Academy is the training arm of the company. Shall I say state-of-the-art training school? Um, we do training here for multiple, multiple clients. I mean, clients fly in from abroad to do training here. Uh, one of the training schools. So this actually seats 60 personnel. And yeah, this is the largest uh, classroom that we actually have. And usually here is where we have the likes of like War College. They will bring in a couple of colonels that are going up to the rank of general. And they will come in here to learn. I mean, we had some colonels from different countries. I've seen guys here from Rwanda before. I've seen some guys here from, I mean, Ghana has been here. Can, can we come and learn from you? If you wanted to come and learn, mm -hmm. sure. Just, I'll give you a bill. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One of the core strengths of Proforce is human resource development, especially in tactical, hybrid, and technology-led security. And learning and uh, knowing what's the next step and all the information from here is then sent down to the factory. They will now brainstorm between the two, the technical side of it and the production side of it, and then they'll now see how to implement it. One of the star abilities of Proforce is vehicle armoring and redesign, such as SUVs or luxury buses for VIPs. So this is a, yeah, it's a very heavy door, but this is actually a civilian vehicle that was actually armored by Proforce as well. This is what the client specifically wanted in regards to, he actually wanted a kind of like a, a fabric. As part of the agenda of President Tinubu to promote local industries and manufacturing, especially security hardware manufacturing, the Minister of Defense, Abubakar Badaru, visited Proforce to inspect the company and strengthen partnership with the federal government. That then we can achieve 90% local content. Because all you need to bring is in the, in the repass and that's all. Even once we have the two, we can produce suspension. Oh, yes. Yeah, these guys will work here now. Yeah. Then you raise it yes. the But you see, the most difficult part of it is the design. Yeah. Because our engineers that does, they do a lot of simulations and simulations. Yeah. Of, yes, then everything is going to be covered. Collapse. Yes. They are independent suspension. Independent suspension. This is a 9 millimeter. Yes. Yeah.
the cutting machine, grinding machine, and I don't have the heritage and future to point into a seal. Where do you get your seal from? These seals, I think we imported them. Why this one from the land. Yeah. This one will fly endurance of two hours. Two hours. Yes. We can even wow. design the one that will do endurance of six hours wow. and everything. Proforce, Nigeria's number one weapon and security hardware manufacturing company, is here at the 2024 World Defense Show in Saudi Arabia. This is one of the company's best opportunities to display its products at the show. The World Defense Show, we are, we are participating I'm off to Saudi Arabia. Uh, Proforce, in most of these defense shows, you realize that Proforce represents Africa, not just Nigeria. Because hardly do you see any African company in most of these uh, exhibitions. And we invest a lot in exhibitions. And through the exhibitions, we get st strategic partnerships. We get a lot of companies that are number one in their country and want to partner with us. We have exhibitions across the world that we will be going to as of tomorrow. We push the name of Nigeria first, manufacturing first, made in Nigeria. And every single time that we go out there and a company or a person or any individual sees us and sees that made in Nigeria, it is him that they're actually seeing, not just the nation. So we will be very happy for His Excellency to come and see us one day. The workforce of Proforce is sourced locally. They are young Nigerians from different backgrounds and various parts of the country. They are the brains and the hands behind the success of Proforce. They are involved in various activities from creative designs to construction, fabrication. These are not the first guys we had from Futa. Not everyone that we brought from Futa has been great. But what we notice is that, one, they're very practical, hands-on in regards to Futa. And it's an engineering university, so they understand concepts. It's much easier for them to understand, to learn, and also to work together. Funny enough, some of these guys actually knew each other back in university. So, so when they're coming to work together, yeah. exactly. It's like that kind of chemistry that they know how to work together. When they need to work late, they know how to work late together. When they need to do a design, they know how to talk to each other. This is how you build up that foundation so of this engineering. Is the thing come through. Exactly. Proforce also offers free vehicle troubleshooting and repairs for its clients. It also repairs other brands as part of the company's service delivery for clients. I can attest that I've never heard a complaint about a single uh, Proforce vehicle at all that was given to CBN. They use it every single day. It has that Proforce stamp on it. And they're very happy to be using it. Their bullion vans, all the old ones replaced. All their escort vehicles replaced. And they're all done by Proforce. For an armored vehicle manufacturing company like Proforce, one of its corporate social responsibilities is the supply of cars to security agencies and institutions. This particular car is for the Nigeria police. After 16 years of building the brand, Spreading into different African countries, serving various state governments and parastatals, as well as rising to become Nigeria's number one ordnance and hardware manufacturing company, Proforce is moving into its next phase of becoming the leading armoring and defense product provider in the world. The company is opening another facility located in Ogun State called the Proforce City. This will be the main site for the company. Proforce City. So we're looking at going far beyond, not just, we'll have a separate, like probably five acres for each sector. So imagine this whole facility just being for land systems. And then we'll have another facility for air systems, another facility for intelligence. It's going to be a huge military industrial complex. The goal is to expand its production capacity and position the company to compete favorably on a global scale. With this, Proforce is ready to take the world by storm.